Good morning. It's Monday morning and I decided that today, because I hadn't really vlogged this weekend, because again I'm not feeling very good, I would do my like skincare and makeup for you. Basically this is what I'm sort of doing when I'm not filming my face necessarily, but I want to have something on my face to feel more put together. I am, am very, very, very much focused on just feeling like my skin looks healthy. So that's what you're going to see here. I've just gotten out of the shower. I washed my face. I have been using the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Daily Foaming Wash to wash my face morning and evening, although I also take makeup off if I'm wearing it in the evening. If you're interested in seeing what I do in the evening in terms of skincare and like winding down, let me know. This is not the focus of my channel at all, but I'm a mom who doesn't have a lot of time in the mornings to get ready. I really just want to look healthy. It makes me feel a little less sick, and I'm always sick. And you have to understand how stressful it is. I can't even see the camera right now, so does it really matter? No, but I get really, like, uncomfortable when I don't have my glasses on. So this is the Elemis toner. I believe it's the apricot toner, and I really like it. This is, like, my third bottle. I use this after I wash my face. And then in the morning, the current eye cream I'm using is the Green Apple Brightening Eye Cream from Juice Beauty. Kind of, you're going to see the focus of everything I do is just to feel a little bit brighter and less icky. <laughs> and I usually just put it under my eyes, not all the way up to the like waterline, but like in this area. And I'll usually put some on my brow bone. I'll let that set in for a couple minutes. While I do that, I also am going to use the, uh, what is this? Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum has been one I've been enjoying lately. I also have one that's a vitamin C serum, Bliss, that I use sometimes. It just depends. If I'm not going to wear makeup, I will use the Bliss one. But if I'm going to put something on my face besides skincare, then I will also, then I'll use this one, this glass skin. While I'm letting the eye cream and everything set in, I'll make my bed. By the time I get done with the bed, I will be ready to keep going. Okay, so my morning moisturizer currently is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I have oily skin that has become more combination as time has gone on. Like my nose, my T-zone, it's mostly my nose, but my T-zone gets super oily. My cheeks, my lips, and areas get like dry and painful. And it's just my, my skin has like gone haywire in recent years, probably in part because I'm 40 and probably in part because I'm also on so many diuretics for the kidney disease, but hydration levels and shit are like just super all over the place. So I like to put it on and rub it down my neck because it feels good. All right. So that's done. Now for the most important part of all of this, the sunscreen. I am actually almost out of this one. I have a new one. This is my third one waiting for me to start. I love this stuff. This is the Replenix Antioxidant Sunscreen Moisturizer. It's broad spectrum SPF 50. It's extremely moisturizing. If I had been using this when I, uh, before I was on all sorts of diuretics, I probably would have hated it because it, it leaves you very, very, very moisturized. Very moist. Moist. Because I am actually okay with being moist. I just, I'm okay with it. I slather it down my neck, put it on your ears. Since I wear my hair up, I kind of rub it around my neck. But yeah, you just sunscreen the fuck out of your face. I don't even think I'm going outside today, except to like maybe sit in the backyard. But I'm also right next to a window when I work and you should just always wear sunscreen regardless, man. That brings me to the end of like the skincare. Now, if I was going to just leave it at this, I would also put on some of my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask because this is like the thickest lip balm in the world. But I am not going to do that today because I'm gonna wear a little bit of makeup. I do have a primer I like. 
you know, in the vein of being moist, it's the Too Faced uh, Hangover Primer. I have learned that when I'm wearing this kind of lighter version of makeup, I don't really need it. The first thing I put on, the closest thing to foundation I wear is the Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream Hydrating Color Corrector with SPF 30 in it. I don't even know what color this is. It's a color. It's a color for my face. If I don't even want to go this far, I will just wear this L'Oreal Visible Lift Luminous Serum Tint, which is just very, very light amount of color. Both of these are like tinted, not colored. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really looking to do much except for even my skin tone out a little bit. And you'll notice a lot of these face products I put on with my fingers because that's how they... I feel like I like how they uh, they go on that way. The other thing that usually happens when I'm putting my makeup on is that I have to do it by touch because I can't see my face, even in the mirror. So I'll have like, my face on the mirror and still barely see what I'm doing. All right, then I'm gonna use this Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. It's a fair glow, I guess. And this is kind of the closest thing to a highlighter I wear, but again, I'm just wearing it to keep that like fresh, moist, this dewy is the, the the word makeup people use, but I think a moist face is more interesting sounding. And so I'll just put this on my upper, like on my cheekbones and a little bit down the center of my face. So I just do like a little blob on my finger and then I'll just kind of tap it in like this and then kind of put some up this way, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. And then just blend that down with my fingers. And then moving down the glow train, <laughs> I have this Flower Beauty Blush Balm. It's like a cheek color liquid in Pinched. I also love using the NARS Orgasm Stick, but I tend to use this if I'm going out or like just out of the house or if I am going to be filming. But if I am just going to be around the house doing my regular life, then this stuff works just fine. And... Again, you a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. I use just like a, a little little blob. There's my neighbor's dog. And then again, just kind of tap my fingers, tap up, and then I'm just gonna blend it into my cheeks. This is one of the two like most important things I do. Put on a little bit of color on my cheeks. It's one of them because the kidney disease makes me look really pale or really like yellow and washed out. And so having a little bit of flush to my cheeks does help balance that. All right, now I don't always wear concealer, but I am breaking out and I probably should have done that before all this, but I didn't. So I'm just going to lightly dot a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna use the camera. No. <laughs> so I just dotted it on my zitty areas. And then I'm going to use, and this is the NARS Creamy Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer in, I think this is Cafe Con Leche. And then I also have the um, YSL Touche Clot that I will put in just the very, very corners of my eyes. Like that. To uh, brighten them up. That stuff is fucking expensive, so I very... And this is a new brush. I haven't used this one yet, so I'm going to have to lean in the window, but it's uh, the Sonia Kashuk Concealer Brush, and I'm going to use this to kind of... Yeah, it's one of the few things I don't do with my fingers, because I found if I use my fingers to blend concealer out, the concealer kind of disappears and doesn't actually do anything. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, wow, this brush is awesome. It just... Give me a second, I gotta go check in the bathroom mirror. This this brush like worked wonders. I just sort of like popped it, like stippled it, and then just sort of blended around it a little bit and it didn't take all the concealer off, but it doesn't look cakey. And then I just took what was left and kind of put it on the tip of my nose here because this is where I get the most oily, so it helps with that. But that Sonia Kashuk concealer brush I got from Target, fucking awesome so far. All right, so I've got concealer on, which I should have done before the highlighter part, but whatever. So I've got my face kind of done here. So the next part is my eyes, 
and I have these Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener Sticks. This one is the pinkish one and it's called Miko. I also have the champagne-y one, which is called Stella. I like them both. I'm gonna wear the pink one today. I'm gonna have to do this by touch because I can't see what I'm fucking doing. But I put it in the mid, like the corner of my eye. And then on the lower lash line. And then all across my lid. And the goal here is just to make the eye look a little brighter. So I'm gonna do it with my other eye. Now, if I am trying, I do, again, I do more eye makeup if I'm gonna be on camera. But if I really wanna look awake, and I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do it today, but if I really wanna look awake, then I'll take this dark brown eyeshadow. It's a Maybelline eyeshadow. I don't know what color it is, it doesn't say. But it's a dark matte brown. And I will take this flat eyeshadow brush that I think is from Morphe. It's a little flat brush. And I learned this trick from Amy Landino. I will put it in here and then stamp dark color along my top lash line to kind of simulate eyeliner. I fucking hate eyeliner, but I will put some darkness there to kind of make me look more awake. I'm not going to do that today though. My allergies have been kicking in real bad today. Chances are I will likely have itchy eyes. So putting on more shit on my eyes is not a good idea, but mascara is, remember I always said that 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 cheek color is one of my two things I do. Mascara is the other one because I have long eyelashes, but they are pale and I look exhausted without eyelash, without mascara on. Now I just do one coat with, if I'm just like today, um, if I'm going to be on camera, I'll put two coats on, but I don't know if you can see here, but I'm going to need the ritual Q-tipping off of the mascara because I can't see what I'm doing and I always get mascara on my face, so that's something that I do. If you've been putting makeup on for any amount of time, you probably know this already, but if you don't, let the mascara on your face dry and then take just a Q-tip and you can use it to just lift it right off. I'll see if I can do some on camera if I can see what I'm fucking doing. Maybe I'll put my glasses on and do it under my glasses. Because I have to usually put my nose on the mirror for this. Let's see? It just picks it right up. I'm gonna go finish in the bathroom. Now because I didn't really do much in the way of foundation or anything, I don't need a lot of powder, but what I do use is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock powder to kind of set the areas I wanna set. I'm just gonna take this little brush, it's a contour brush from Real Techniques, and just get a little bit of that powder, set my nose, my T-zone area, and then also under my eyes because I put that tushy clot there. I'm not like baking, I'm just dusting a little bit of powder there to kind of maybe on my cheeks a little bit to kind of set the cream products there. I don't need a lot because I'm not going anywhere, but as I am oily, if I don't put a little bit of powder on, it'll disappear. And then I have this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'll just throw that on really quick. And then I'm pretty much done, except for my hair is just gonna stay back today. Maybe I'll put a headband on. Is it today gonna be a headband day? I don't think it's gonna be a headband day. I have one big splurge. Like I've used a mixture of, of higher end and drugstore stuff throughout this. Like my nighttime moisturizer, drugstore moisturizer. And if you're interested in seeing the nighttime version of all this, let me know down below. But I have a splurge. It's a quarantine splurge worth every penny. I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. This is expensive. This is not an inexpensive lipstick, but oh my God. I have worn it almost every single day. For me, it is most definitely one of those My Lips But Better things. I have the lip pencil. If I'm filming, I'll throw the lip pencil on underneath it. And I also love the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. This is my second one of these. But I'm not feeling very glossy at the moment. For an inexpensive thing I love to wear, this is the L'Oreal Color Riche Situation. And it's Varnished Rosewood. I love this one. I also love Glossy Fawn. But the Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury lipstick is... my. I'm going to buy this again. This is probably going to be the only lipstick I buy for at least the foreseeable future. And it feels so fancy. I leave it out so I can look at it. But I love it. If I'm going to be wearing a mask, I won't put lipstick on. 
I might put the lip mask on, but I've also found that sticks to the mask, so I don't really like that. I love having a little bit of lipstick on because I feel like if without lips, my face kind of disappears. Anyway, hi Lulu. So this is my mom makeup situation. Most of, I have to wash my hands now. My hands get real shiny from doing this. I usually keep just a white cloth to like wipe my hands off on while I'm working. I have a whole bunch of them that I used to take my makeup off, but this is my like basic mom makeup that I wear when I'm home to feel more awake. I can boost it up a little bit if I'm filming. If you want to see my filming makeup, which I don't go super ham on, but I do a little bit more to make my features come out. But if you would like to see that, or if you would like to see my nighttime situation or whatever, please let me know in the comments. But I just wanted to show you this because like, I'm not a fancy makeup person, but I do want to look at least reasonably alive and being in late stage kidney disease, I feel very yellow and very flat and very crusty a lot of the time, like oily and crusty. It's a terrible feeling. So this is important to me for my own mental health and well-being to put on a little bit of makeup in the morning to feel put together. It doesn't matter if my bra straps are hanging out and I'm wearing yoga pants, which I am right now, it doesn't matter this helps. Anyway, let me know something that you do every day that helps you, even if it doesn't, it doesn't feel necessary for your life, but it feels necessary for your mental well-being, which I guess is your life. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, my dudes, peace.